All his life, Daniel Herrera has called the Coachella Valley home. But the now former Aztec is headed to the Midwest and will rock an Ames orange singlet for his senior year. Now I caught up with his family about the big move for their big guy. It was Daniel's decision. We put it on him 100%. I was very sad, you know, thinking about it. And now, you know, that it's playing out. I'm, I'm just, all the emotions are going through me. Um, but number one is just joy. Joy for him and, and the offer that he has to go out there. It's going to be tough not seeing little brother perform here on the gridiron and on the mat. It's going to take a little toll on me. It might feel a little sad, but it's, it's for him to to be better, to be a better person, to be a better athlete. I'm excited. I'm a little, um, obviously sad. I'm going to miss him, but this is something that he's been talking about and in the works for a while. So I've been preparing myself for him to kind of take this step soon. And it's been a part of the big picture for a long time. We used to watch him right here in the stadium behind us. How hard is it going to be heading into fall, not seeing him suit up in Aztec year this year? It's super hard, super hard. I mean, we were so looking forward to his senior year here at, in Palm Desert High School and finishing out with his friends and his teammates, you know, who we've grown up for, with for many years. It's emotional, but it's, it's a good thing. In the end, you know, he's going to have his time to shine. And he's had his time to shine here, and now he gets to spread his wings and go out and see what's out there. I just want to make sure, like, I'm like, okay, what's up? Where are you at mentally? Where are you at? Like, how are you? Are you happy with this decision? He knows he always has to put himself in uncomfortable situations to get that. So it's just constantly being like, you got it. You can do it. We're here. There's been a lot of talks on on what it's going to be like out there, how the people are going to be, how do I respond to the to the noise. I just try to give him my best advice and uh, push him through. You don't got to hear what people have to say about you. Just keep going. You know, you're you're a big dude. You know what you're capable of. And we've been, we've been doing this in six, so I mean... It's been a long, long time coming. After wrestling season and he was crowned a two-time state champion, he told me before he went out there on the mat, he got a really nice text from you um, that really just helped him propel him and get him in the zone. Oh, I give him a lot of pep talks. I did tell him something along the lines of like, maybe you were just a big a little fish in a big pond and now you're the big fish in a big pond. Whatever the outcome is, just know that you tried your best and you did everything you could and you've prepared yourself for this moment. The proudest moment were probably when the whole family went out and he won Doc B for the first time. That was probably like a bittersweet moment of like, you know, it's not easy winning that tournament. So that was probably, that one and State were probably my, my favorite, favorite two moments as a older brother seeing my little younger brother accomplish something not many kids can accomplish. His dad is super excited for him. We are. And the um, support that we're getting from the community out in Iowa is great. It's it's hands down something that I didn't expect. You can do it. We're here. If you need anything, like, we're always going to be here, so don't worry about it, you know? Just an incredible family. Now, the Herrera family also told me they're already planning a bunch of trips to the Midwest. It's good practice for them since Daniel will be going from an Ames Little Cyclone to an Iowa State Cyclone. Well, I'm excited for him and what's ahead, making the entire Valley proud.